Okay, Mississippi Madness, here we go. Now, yesterday, I gave your stupid ass some very sound advice. But I see that you did not take heed to. I sat up there and I listened to you. And in my very professional life, I can speak to you on any level I choose to. But because of the type of person that you are, it seems like I have to dig down in that muddy ass Mississippi water of yours and pull out one of the most ratchetest asses mud ducks there. And that's you. Now, you made a comment yesterday. And the one thing about it, let, let me say this. It was very refreshing. To hear you speak about anybody other than Five A. Now that was a step forward. But then you fucked up and took 10 steps back when you had the nerve enough to mention me because of something that somebody named Skillet said. Now, you said, fuck me with my daddy's sick dick, bitch. Are you for real? Are you for real? First and foremost, anybody that says shit like that leads me to believe that they don't that they have daddy issues anyway. Because my dad in my real life is a king. He is. And he raised a queen. I'm sorry. On another note, because you did not take the advice that I gave you, I, I decided to help you out just a little bit. Listen, I told you to check your ass into a clinic, right? But you didn't do it. So I did a little bit of research for you. And the Mississippi State Hospital bitch got a lot of beds. Walk right on up in that white door. They will find you one immediately. Do not forget to take your baby doll. They will, they do have a smoking policy. You will have an area where you can smoke on those back, black and mild or Newport or whatever the smoke is of the day. They do have a section for that. They also provide oxygen tanks for your almost dead ass. So don't you worry. Your family can visit you. Now they do have visiting hours, but now they can come and visit you if they so choose to, which hmm, on the outside looking in, I can't see that shit happening not too often because one thing about it, it seems like your entire bloodline is fucked up. But don't blame it on the people that don't know them. Blame it on those bitches. So what I'm going to need for you to do before you carry your ass down to the Mississippi State Hospital, drive by every cemetery, dig them holes up, prop their stinking asses up against their tombstones, Cuss each and every one of them bitches out for making you the woman that you are today. Because at the end of the day, you, my dear, ain't shit. And I'm telling you that. I wish I could see you face to face. And one thing about it, should they check you in, oftentimes I do have to travel around from hospital to hospital, you know, case by case or what have you. Sometimes I have to do that. And should I ever have the pleasure of meeting you, I will definitely, if your mind hadn't been gone too bad, now you did say yesterday that you hadn't taken your medicine, I'm going to need for you to get that regulated first so that we can have a real adult conversation. Now, one thing about it, they get rave reviews, honey. They have 3.1 stars out of five. Now, as state hospitals go, that's a good thing. They have some good reviews, some bad reviews, but that's in any case, that's in any situation. Sometimes you got to take the good with the bad, the bitter with the sweet, so on and so forth. You know how that goes. Now, because it's down in my DNA, I can get with your want to be ass. I can get with your boo-boo because I can put it together just like the next bitch. It's not an issue. It's not an issue for me, but that's not anything that I have to do in my daily life. But now I will do you one last favor. Now, says you love to speak so ill of the dead and the dying and how you will chuckle and this and that. Let me tell you what 
I'm going to do for you. As soon as they pronounce your ass dead, which every one of your days have a number on them, sweet pea, I will come down to Mississippi, do your service pro bono, and bitch, when I tell you I will give you a service fit for a motherfucking queen, bitch, I will give you a service fit for a motherfucking queen. After that, though, what I will also do, I will also cremate your rotten ass. That's what the fuck I would do. And because you are contributing absolutely nothing to the earth while you were alive, I will give you, I, you will re- actually be the gift that keep on giving. Because instead of burning your ass, I will cremate you with hot water. How about that? Baby, we eco, we eco friendly around this motherfucker, okay? And one thing about it, if you ain't never did nothing for nobody else while you was living, you will help a lot of people after you die. And on that note, I holler.